So my mother has been a hairdresser for over 30 years. I've always been around hair, so I've always wanted to understand it. So when I finished my cycling career, that was four years ago, I gave it a go, loved it, and here we are. So for those who don't know, I used to be a full-time cyclist before I was in the hair industry. So becoming a barber was a major adjustment at first because cycling is a very selfish sport. It's almost completely the opposite to what I'm doing now, which is selfless, you know, you're doing stuff for other people. So I think the hardest part for me was standing up all day. I used to use a cutting stool the first year I was, I was cutting. So. That was the biggest adjustment. Mainly my, my team at Area Studio. Fortunately, I don't really have to look too far beyond who I work with every day. Everyone's got something different to bring to the table. So that's like inspiring in itself every single day. Internationally, I think there's lots of different people pushing the boundaries, guys like Menswear. I owe a lot to Josh Lamonica. He actually got me the job pretty much at Area Studio. The boys at Ruger in Manchester, Leah Hayden Cassidy, so many more. And last but certainly not least, my mother. I'm on. I'm always striving for progression. So even if that's in the minor details, so I try to improve daily on like my technique, discipline, and my general understanding of hair. So that's always gonna be an ongoing goal. In the future, I'd like to work more in the educational side of things and editorial. I think like teaching and doing some like online videos as well as potentially doing my own collection one day. So it kind of happened in a right place, right time kind of way. I was at the Hair Expo in Sydney in 2017 and this were putting together an education team. I had very little experience of demonstrating my work before that, but I had done it a few times, so it was a bit of a sink or swim situation, and I just decided to go for it, and here we are. So each session that I offer is tailored to the group that I'm gonna be working with. The main goal in all of that is personal development around men's hair. So what I try to do is break down men's hair in the most simple way possible. So it's technically effective for when people go back to their own barber shops or salons that they're gonna be able to perform men's haircuts in a, in a more effective and efficient manner. I like to showcase my technique and if people can take them techniques and add them to their own skill set, then that's the most important thing. So I want to share information which I would have found useful a few years ago when I first started, even what I would have found useful down to a few months ago, and I want to break it down in the most simple form possible, make it easy to understand, and make it like a, a safe place where people can just watch something as many times as they want, take away what they can from it, and hopefully that will help them in their personal development with their skill set. So I've had some amazing, really cool opportunities and experiences with hair so far. Um, I've got to do some cutting at like music artists, world tours, custom celebrities. Some of the competition work we've done has been really cool and I've been really proud of it. But if I had to pick one particular moment, I would say being part of the Hair Expo Education Program 2019 in Sydney, where I gave my perspective seminar and that was with no brand backing so I was really proud of that. No. Never. <laughs> okay. Um, of course, I think everybody has f***ed up someone's hair at some point. Um, even when you first start, you don't even think that you are, but when you look back at them photos and you're looking at what you did initially when you first started compared to what you're doing now, I think that's like a big model. But you know, you learn from your mistakes and I think everybody's had, has experiences of this. So yeah, still good nowadays, isn't it? So, all the time.
So I know it sounds cliche, but really you have to be like a sponge. Soak up information from everybody that you meet. You can learn something new from everybody that you meet in general, not even just in the hair industry, even your clients. Um, surround yourself with people who inspire you and put yourself in the right environment to grow and become the stylist that you want to become. That's the best advice I could give. And obviously watch your YouTube channel. Yeah, watch my YouTube videos. The only way to get better. Thank you for watching this video. Um, like, subscribe, and leave some comments in the comment section down there somewhere. And let me know what you'd like to see next. What type of haircut tutorials, any types of videos you'd like to see. I'm always open to new suggestions.